there's a new version of Adobe Camera Raw version 16.0, and it has exciting changes to the workspace. It's a more practical and logical interface. Those that have been around me and have listened to my various seminars know I've been asking for these changes for years. What's happened is this. This is the old set of panels in the edit tool. And the basic panel was where you spent 90% of your time. What Adobe has wisely done in version 16.0 has split the basic panel into three separate panels, light, color, and effects, which is exactly the order that you want to do those in. So to me, Adobe finally gets it right. The new panel additions in order reflect a proper workflow. Why you're asking? For this reason, if you adjust your color in your image first, then adjust the exposure and contrast, the color you originally chose will probably be thrown out of whack. If you adjust the exposure and contrast first and adjust the color, you'll rarely throw off what you originally set for your exposure and contrast. And now, if you follow these panels in order, you'll be just fine. Start by adjusting the light panel first, then adjust the color panel. The old way, just you know, here's the old basic panel. You can see how this is broken into four sections, and there's divide by a gray line here, gray line here, and a gray line here. And for years, I've been saying you work on this exposure contrast group. That's what I called it first. Then adjust your color if you need to for the very reasons that I mentioned right here. But now the light panel is first, which has all of that exposure and contrast group. Then they have the color group, which has not only the temperature and the temp, but the vibrance and the saturation are now in that color panel. And then what I used to call the edge sharpening group, and it is still edge sharpening, is now called the effects panel. So I just want to make you aware of that. I hope that makes sense. It's actually a better interface. 